Um, should I do another you stream? You brought him up, man, earlier. I was thinking. I was thinking of doing a very brutal stream next. About what? Well, maybe this idiot needs to be put in his place. Um, which, it, which idiot? Uh, the broke bar, as Sands would call him. Um, let me yeah, make that, a f that guy's going to troll you nonstop. I, if you looked at any of his last couple videos, he's he's just looking for a target, and and you you stuck your head up pretty far. Yeah. Let me go ahead and kill. Let me go ahead and call my uh, ex girlfriend. You guys, you guys want me to call? Mm-hmm. Of course. Right, let me call my ex girlfriend real quick. I know it's uh it's really late in Maine over there, but um, I think she'll be okay. All right, so let me go ahead and make a phone call to my girlfriend. She lives in Boston. Boston in Massachusetts. I haven't spoke to her for a long time. Should I call my ex? What do you guys think in chat over there? Let's see how this goes here. And this is just the bing eating, of course. And got a ton more things to do. This is just the beginning. Here we go. You have reached six seven zero five. Blah no blah blah. Available to answer your call, please leave a message, and we will call you back. Thank you, and have a nice day. Hey, Carol. How you doing, honey? Uh, what do you think about your shithead son? That loser. The 27-year-old fucking loser named Matthew. What's wrong with him? Can we talk about him? I am sorry for your loss about Corey. I know Corey died of AIDS or... I don't know. I don't know the entire story, but Matthew said he had an enlarged heart. And I apologize that the wrong son died. I know every time you look at your son now, Matthew over there, He's a failure, and it's really, really sad, but um, every time you look at his face, you're like, why didn't this shithead die? Why didn't he fucking die? Why did my great Corey die? I don't know. I wanted to just send my condolences to you. I know he just passed away this, this, this year, I guess, or last year. I don't know. Honestly, I don't give a fuck, but your son is in the basement. Selling his clothes. His designer clothes to make rent. Go make him. Go force him to get a real job. Because he's not doing a good job over there. What he's doing right now. Maybe you need to spank him a little bit. Okay? I know he doesn't have a daddy. I'm going to call him next. I'm going to call his dad next. Maybe we can reunite them. How's that sound? All right? Bye. Love you. So who do I call next? Never. What? I don't give a fuck. Oh the my guy, God, the guy talks shit about my kid, saying that they should die. Fuck you! And then he calls me a cheek. Mother he, is an innocent person, and you're like talking no, about no, she's a cunt. Hey. No, she's a cunt for raising that shit, Ed, and allowing him to stay in his fucking basement, raising oh a fucking God. complete douche, dick. So tell him to go fuck off. If you don't like it, then the, the everybody in here, go 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 follow Unbleach, because I'm sure he's a great person. Racist motherfucker. You know, go fuck himself. I told him. I warned him. I was nice to him on Twitter. I told him this shit is going to be coming if he keeps on fucking around. I said, do not utter my fucking name ever again. Do not talk about my dog. Do not talk about my kids. Do not talk about my medication. Or shit's going to happen. So now his mammy is involved. And so is his dad. I'm going to call his dad soon. You let him know. I'm calling his parents. This 20-year-old shithead needs to be put in his fucking place. Because he's playing with the wrong motherfucker. I don't, I don't lay down for anybody. How did they fuck with you, Jimmer? How did he fuck with me? Yeah. Why are you so pissed off? Well, I'm pissed off. 
I mean, I this guy. Don't understand well, the story. Th- well, this guy. I, I don't need to explain anything. But this guy says, "I'm going to be a nobody." Why? Because my eyes are misshaped. Like I don't have the correct shaped eyes. Because that is a cool thing to say. And then he goes off and calls me a chink and a gook. Go ahead. All right, that's cool. And then he cries over to somebody saying, oh, he's talking about my brother who died of AIDS. Go fuck yourself. I don't give a fuck. You talk about my kid saying, oh, what if your kids die? I, I would hate to, you know, fuck you, dude, you piece of shit. Maybe tomorrow I'm going to do a special broadcast to reveal everything because I have everything on you. You're going to feel you're going to feel what I felt. When I was doxxed, how about that? I don't know when it's going to happen. I'm, I don't know. You're going to feel the wrath, motherfucker. I don't know if it's going to come for me. Because I don't do that kind of stuff. That's not what I do here, YouTube. But I'm sick and tired of this bullshit. I gave him my opportunity not to do this kind of shit, but... When I hear some chirping and I hear some other felon over there hanging out in chat, well, you know what? Go ahead and align yourself with him and let's see what happens. You don't think I'd try to take down this motherfucker and, and I took down his whole entire network I'm talking about fat face fuck over there? I'm not afraid of anybody. I have nothing to lose. So bring it. You want to bring my, my personal life in here? Well, I'm going to bring your personal life in here then. And I gave him an opportunity to bow out. And he chose otherwise. So now he's got to put his big boy pants on. And Jack Forsetti, get the fuck out of here. I don't ever want to see your name in here again. Do it. Get the fuck out. Somebody ban him. I, I never want to see Jack Forsetti in here again. You're a little pussy. So get the fuck out. Somebody ban him right now. And everybody can leave. I'll, I'll handle this entire broadcast. If I need to be up all night to do this shit, I'll do it. You know. It's not worth it. No, it is worth it to me. Because I have a lot of patience. I've been very, very patient. And here's the thing. If you don't like what I did with the whole mommy thing, I don't care. You know why? Because I'm not PC. I don't give a fuck. You know, you mess with my family. There's no lines to cross. I am going to cross every fucking line. That's what I'm going to do. Please come again. Broke back, Jimmer. We have your back, homie. Show me that <laughs> <Fuck> smile. <you. laughs> but that's it, man. I protect my own. And I was very patient. I allowed him. I allowed this motherfucker to talk about my kids and all this other shit. But I even tweeted, I said, I tweeted him today. I, I warned him with peace and love. I really did. I warned him with peace and love, peace and love. And uh, now he's going to feel the wrath. It, it's going to come when he least expects it. That's how I operate. So... We will see what happens, Mr. 27-year-old piece of shit. And that poor mom of yours, I don't give a fuck about her. You know what? If she's not smacking you upside the head and throwing you right out, being a grown-ass man living in your mommy's basement, barely could fucking... She, I heard she was going to kick you out. But uh, we'll see what happens. Maybe she'll kick you out tonight. Um, maybe she'll disconnect the internet. I don't know what your situation is, but... It's funny how you don't smoke any weed anymore because you don't have any money. You ran out. So maybe you're, you're a little cuckoo right now. You know. The lack of weed is just fucking with your brain. And you can't think correctly. So. <coughs> And again, don't think I'm not going to watch the replay and see who's been in there and who hasn't. I don't want this motherfucker getting any of my views. 
you know, I don't care. I'm going to have to think about, you know, certain shit, but. Because I don't have to play by the PC rules. You know why? Because I don't. There's no one to. Who, who is here that I need to please? Nobody. I don't have a boss. I don't have anybody. I just do who I am. And you either like it or you don't. And um, I, w I won't bow down to anybody. Especially no corporate sort of structure. Nothing like that. I'm going to do what I, I'm going to do. I, mean, I think I'm a nice guy. I've been nice. I've been nice to this kid. Off air. Uh, we've sent messages. <laughs> and uh, I've been very gracious. And, and this kid's like, oh, let's do it because it's great. No, it's not great. It's stupid. It's it really is. I have no benefit um, trying to quarrel with this kid. I, I don't have any benefit at all. Now with Jeff Fatface fuck maybe, but not really because his network sucks too. What the fuck you want with Jeff Fatface fuck? Well, I mean he's got Howard Stern show whack packers. That's a little intriguing at least, but still. The numbers are horrible. It's not like I benefit from him. It's not like I'm getting hundreds of viewers watching me if I talk shit about Gonzo. I mean, I do see a spike when I talk about Jeff the fat face fuck. Or, um, but it's very, very tiny. It, maybe he adds, maybe they add about 200 at most extra views, which does nothing for me. It does absolutely nothing. And I get probably one or two subscribers that are loyal from it. Maybe. I doubt it, though. I'm just being really generous right now. If I even do, let's say I do a video. Let's say I stop the stream right now and I say, fuck you, Jeff, fat face, fuck Gonzo, fuck shitheads. Um, I'll get probably six, seven hundred views just, just with that title alone. But it gets me nothing. It gets me nowhere. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't really grow the community. Nothing. It doesn't do anything. It just kind of gets these shitty views that I, I really don't care about. They're parasites, but, man. So, again, you know, I don't care about the mom. I don't care if she, her son died. I really don't anymore. I, I might have, and I well, I did. Back in a minute. I don't give a shit. I mean, if anything, I hope she cries. Cries herself to sleep every fucking night. Because I don't care. I really don't. So, and uh, if you think that's bad, then go over there. Go over there and have fun with him because I'm sure he's going to provide a bunch of fun stuff for you guys. Oof. Is everyone sleeping? <laughs> No, we're just letting you talk. But I'm going to allow this to, 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 you know, I mean, he'll have his fun tonight. And, um, you know, when you least suspect it, then um, that's when I, that's when I, I bite you with my lethal sort of venom that I have. Because I'm good at that. I'm, I'm good at I never forget. I never forget. Um, and it just bottles up. I, I have that personality where it bottles up. I'm very patient, forgiving to a certain extent. And then all of a sudden, I explode. But I don't explode quickly. It's gradual. It just takes some time. And then, then I'm out for blood. I smell the blood like a shark miles and miles away and then I just keep going 
and it, it's almost it, it, to me it's scary. I scare myself because I just I just go I go nuts. I don't know when to stop, and I want more and more. Hey, what's up, Kevin? Kevin Love. Maybe Kevin can make some sense out of this. Kevin Love. What's up, Jimmer? Hey, what's up, brother? Thanks for joining oh, on here. Oh, nothing. Just, uh, just uh, having a little fun listening to this, working on stuff for tomorrow. Nice. How's it going, Kevin? Good. I just I want you to know I'm 100% behind you, Jimmer. 100%. Uh, thank you. And I know everybody is, but... There's nothing wrong with losing your shit every now and again, Jimmer. It's perfectly fine. Mm-hmm. I wouldn't even call it losing his shit. He's just fighting the fight that they brought to him, man. Yeah, this kid did do that. He asked him not to take it there, and he did. So now he's got to reap what he sowed. Hey, Kitty, are you um, still getting shit? Yeah. Call after call after call. Mm-hmm. And you know what? She's not fucking around because um, I had the same thing yesterday, but I blocked the entire stuff because um, I can't. I I just I'm gonna have to use my other phone. Um, At least I figured out who it was in chat. What? I figured out who it was in chat finally. Can't you just change your number? Is that just too much of a pain in the butt? Um, oh, I have another phone, so, um, <clears throat> I'm not, no, because, you know, my number's on my business cards and stuff, and I'm not gonna, it's not worth it. So, so, um, all right, so I know what I need to do. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep on it. Maybe I'll feel a little different tomorrow. Who knows? We'll see. Not promising it, but we'll see what happens. Now we'll get y'all fumed up again. This kid uh, doesn't see. That's what happens, break. though. See, when I start seeing viewers from here going over there, because he shouldn't be ha- right now. He has about twelve. It, it got up to almost twenty. You know, it got up to eighteen, and that never happens. All right, right now it's at fifteen. When I see people go over there because they're bored or. Or are they, they're curious. I eh, see. Okay, well, then I'm, I'm going to have to go watch the replay and see. A clean house. And then you can't come in with your name again. You can't come in with your regular name. That's what happens. You if know? he was moderately intelligent, if he had any content whatsoever, it would be different. If he was cool in any way, shape, or form, it would be different. But he's a fuckstick. I mean, ah. <laughs> uh, and I'm not going to sit here and explain everything. I mean, like Sands and I were kind of speaking tonight and um, it's like unspoken words. I, I don't know how to explain it. Like we both know, but we didn't really share with you guys too much. I don't know how to explain it. We both, both knew shit, but um, I don't even know how to explain it to you guys. It's just different. Because he knows what I'm doing. I know what I'm, uh, like, I know what he's doing. And um, this kid <laughs> has no clue. And, um, uh, well. The kid turned on a computer one day and got a mic. That's pretty much all the work he's put into it. I'm just, I have all this, I have anger issues right now. <laughs> uh, I would too, that's... man. I don't blame you. That's not good, though, because um, I go crazy. It's not good to push it down, either. That's all people end up killing themselves. And, well, the thing is, with the fat face fuck, I thought it was over. I, I was ready to move on. and he, he should just move on. Go do your stupid whatever the fuck you do. No, Concentrate. A competition thing for him. He can't understand it. Please he come again. Can't. Yo, fuck this Mickey Mouse bullshit. Where the female's at. Where's Tara? <laughs> Where's Kitty? Damn Where's... sausage fest up in this bitch. All Love right, she sore. Fucking A, fucking A, she sore. Uh, Kitty, get on cam. <laughs> She's not cam ready. See, I told you it's bath time, Kitty. Come on, take another bath. 
I think Terrod's busy. Terrod's been busy. Tomorrow, actually, I'm going on a show. Um, I don't remember the name. of the, It's called The Pitch. Shara did it. Shara. Tara did it, um, I think, a few weeks back. So I'm going to be doing that tomorrow. So I, I don't know what time. I think it's... I don't even know. So I'm going to do that. Probably ruin their show. I don't even know. What's what your format I, for that? I, I guess people in chat tell you some they say something and you have to create a movie I, I don't know how to do that shit man i mean these guys are nice though they asked me to come do it so i'll do it but um i'm, I'm gonna bomb <laughs> you're gonna do fine why are you gonna bomb because i don't understand it i still don't i don't Play understand that concept you that. you're fucking smart no yeah, not cringe is good content you know i'm really dumb actually no you're not no i am no, you're not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you're yeah. not. Yes, I am. <laughs> no, oh, not. shit. You're a hardworking bitch. That'll be fun, though. Oh, I'm It'll excited be fun. about that. Let's that. have fun. Fuck it. Yeah, and this week, I mean, um, I mean, you got a lot of people coming in. So, a lot of girls coming in. Should be, be fun. I, I I don't know why I'm stuck in this though. It's like I want to get out. I want to just do our own stuff, you know. And then we always get bothered. We always get fucking bothered by other people. You know, just leave us alone. We're still in our thing. Because then now I have to go attack. I have to go in attack mode. When I go in attack mode, uh, Billiam doesn't like it. <laughs> uh, get, get, Kitty doesn't like it. But, uh, you know, I got to do what I got to do. Um, great benefits. Uh, 312. Hey, it's me. It's Mark. Hey, Mark. What's up? Can you hear me all right or is the phone bad again? No, it's pretty good now. For now. All right. Hey, yeah, for now. Let me know if it goes bad. <laughs> all right. So what's up, man? What's that, the scoop? Uh, that uh, broke bar was putting in a... Uh, community guidelines strike on you so you might not want to post this oh well, tell him to go fuck off he's a pussy <laughs> I'm just telling you what was in the chat <laughs> mm. uh, oh how funny he, he went off air after I uh, talked to his mammy I thought he was going to go on the entire time I'm on what happened yeah I don't know I don't know he uh I heard uh I got at mentioned earlier because they they made up some t-shirt of me and Sainz. So mm -hmm. I got at mentioned. I hopped over there and sure enough they had it up on the screen. A big t-shirt with my name on it and his name on it. And uh, I thought that was pretty funny. But then I guess their show kind of digressed. They ran out of original content. So then they moved over to watching your videos. Oh, and of I'm course, sure. uh, the usual suspects were having it out in the chat, I guess. Yeah. What else happened over there? Because I, I I hate watching his show for some reason. I just, I can't stand it. But Well, he has else? no content. And since, you know, I'm here, I'm on watch Sains. I mean, why would I watch his show to watch something I've already watched? It makes no sense. Yeah. <laughs> It's funny. He thinks he puts a good community guideline strike on. Dude, YouTube's not even fucking awake this weekend. They don't give a fuck, dude. <laughs> yeah, kind of bad timing for him if he thought if that was his angle. But he does do that. He's like, he's he's one of those guys that'll spit in your face and then run away. Because when Sane started swinging at him, that's what he did. He community guideline strike him to get rid of the channel. Yeah, but that that's all bullshit, man. Because you know what? Uh, that fat face fuck Jeff Henson tried to do all that shit. It doesn't work. Hey, somebody was saying that uh, Gonzo can't live stream. What happened? Somebody was saying Gonzo can't live stream. Gonzo podcast? Yeah. Or network, whatever the fuck they're called now. Uh, yeah, I guess I guess they did like some marathon thing. It was only on Periscope. <laughs> marathon. 18 hours of shit. I heard about that. Of, of brain. I, I didn't watch any of it myself, but um, I heard that uh, he can't go up on. I don't know if that's true or not. I'm just telling you what I heard. And I think it was in it was in the chat tonight. Maybe it was in the chat last night. Huh, maybe um, he got a 90 day ban. 
Yeah. But yeah, so I I don't know when his last posted video was, but um, let me check. Let me see. Uh, let me check real quick uh, when their last stupid fucking video that no one cares about because honestly, <laughs> oh god, I hate that fucking noise. They need to turn hey, that shit down. Talking. No, that uh, that noise is um from their website. Or their YouTube channel. It's the most annoying piece of shit ever. Oh, their uh, intro or en- y- it yeah. exit music? Yeah, their intro. Oh, God. It's the worst. Okay, so their last <laughs> their last video was on uh, two days ago, which is... That probably means that they got banned. That's highly suspicious, isn't it? If it was two days ago, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I guess they got banned. But you know what? I don't care. I don't even care if they got banned or not, but no, neither do I. I just think that's funny that uh, <clears throat> a guy with a YouTube channel was sitting in another YouTube channel's chat all night, and then it I put two and two together. I'm like, maybe that person who said that in chat was right. Yeah, I guess I guess so. But again, I don't care. I mean, Jeff is so such a loser. And, you know, uh, in saying chat, he's like, oh, I uh, challenged Jimmer Nam to a boxing match and he declined. No, I didn't. I I went right at him and I said, sure, I accept. Sign me up. Let's do MMA or something. I'll box him. I want to beat the shit out of him. I want to make his face fatter. Bruise it up. I don't know. But then he said, oh, I'm going to back up. I don't know why anybody would turn down the opportunity to punch that thing. You can't miss. I mean, that head is so cute. You know what, though? His wife is getting served tomorrow. I mean, she's got a cease and desist order against her. And, oh, boy, she's going to be happy about that because she's the sole owner of the house that um, he he thought he could get away with giving it to his wife and uh, putting it under her name for all his fucking shit that he has going on with his felony charges and judgments against him. Well, she's got a surprise coming to her. Maybe I need to go call the principal again. And figure the shit out better. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do that tomorrow, maybe. This motherfucker. That would be awful to come back from Easter break and have to hear about the persistence of your employee's felon husband. I know. And and then she's going to get a... What a great way to start a week and getting a loss or basically a cease and desist order. Um. They incriminated themselves, though. They put stupid videos out where, you know, he admits that uh, this studio that he has with all this equipment that costs a lot of money um, is sitting pretty over there at his his wife's fucking house. Um, and then he's got fucking judgments against him uh, close to half a million dollars. So um, and what else did he do recently? Uh, he admitted that uh, he's going to be buying Wirecast software instead of using OBS software. And Wirecast costs $1,000 um, at least. Uh, so how does he get $1,000 when he owes about $500,000? So uh, that's something that uh, I'm sure the, everybody's going to look at very, very carefully. Um, well, see, I think what he did was <clears throat> try taking a page out of like OJ's book, you know? Mm-hmm. And um, people that are guilty that, end up free tend to tend to they emulate oj they see oj as their their kind of their altar but i would bet if the victims were informed of all the technology he's been able to buy and all that other stuff they'd be interested yeah there's judgments against this guy Mm -hmm. i wonder if the people that have the judgments against him know that he's obviously the fruits of his labor Whatever labor it is, really paid off. He's got quite a bit of stuff. Yes. No, but we could inform them. Somebody said something. Was that Kevin? Hey, Jammer. Oh, Howie. Okay, yeah. Oh, I can barely hear you. Sorry. Check out this real high-pitched live guy in the chat. Do you want him blocked? I don't know. I'll have to... Why? What is he saying? He said Gonzo Podcast... 24 7 um that's the only thing i see you blocked real high pitch lot and then he came back with a new name oh no i think he's oh, okay he, <coughs> he does drive right. a tesla 
this this felon drives a tesla or he claims he does what a stupid uh, idiot he um he mentions that on air saying he has a tesla you fucking idiot they're gonna take that right away from you moron why would you why you put yourself that's why he's such a dumb i call him jeff the slow felon that's why that's the reason why he's a slow fucking felon backdoor felon like why would you admit that you have a tesla dude well there's something interesting about some people for instance you know you're in the you're in the the video you know mindset maybe because that's that's how you got fat you sat around the house as a kid this and that now you have this idea, well, I'm going to go rent movies to people, right? It's a good idea. Other people have made millions with it. So what does he do? He gets a job at Blockbuster and rents their videos to people. He's almost like, yeah, I don't know if he's slow or he's just, yeah, I don't know. He's just one step off, you know? And he's. I mean, how stupid do you have to be to open up your own video store inside a video store? And he's like. The more upset he gets, the more angry he gets, the more stupid he gets. Like, well, I'm opposite. Like, oh, look, I can understand, you know, a kid, even a five-year-old knows, you put the lemonade stand in your front yard. You don't go to <laughs> a beverage store to open up a lemonade stand. Mm. It, it's dumber than dumb. Yeah. I mean, hey, Mark, that reminds me of Always Sunny. You ever watch that show? No, what's it called? Always, Always sunny, sunny in Philadelphia. Yeah, the the old Poyle twins. They buy a blockbuster like five years off after the bottom fell out. <laughs> yeah, it's just they sit there and tout how good of an investment it is. But yeah, they they bought a dying business. Yeah, that's funny. You know, um, <clears throat> something that's not funny. I knew a guy that he bought a car dealership. Some of these people that were very into. Um, the car business that had six or seven dealerships somehow they knew ahead of time when the car dealerships were going to cut back you know i don't know if they had lawyers or people that were really smart that could read into the legislation that was being proposed well anyway this guy bought a car dealership like six months before they before they terminated it you know back when they terminated car dealerships he's still not out of the hole 12 years later or something like that but yeah, that oh, definitely man. happens. I wonder if his mom pulled him off. Told him, stop streaming because I'm going to kick your ass. I'm going to kick you out of the house. I mean, I thought he was going to do a whole a marathon thing. I'm wait. you know, he said he's going to outlast me tonight. But where are you? Turn the stream back on. You idiot. Oh, did he click off? He's not even on. He's been off for about 11 minutes now. Maybe his mom told him he's getting too many calls or something. <laughs> how did he's that happen? In the corner crying. I wonder how that happened. I, I called a couple times, Jimmer. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's awesome. How do we put that in a database? Hmm. It's really simple. Actually, I already did it. <laughs> Just getting a lot of calls. <laughs> you know, I don't give a fuck. 